it's another Tuesday night, so welcome to my POA podcast, Black Hand and Beyond. This is episode 63, which is the 2023 POAC National Show, National Congress Show recap. I uh, apologize last week, we had some AC problems, and then we started having some Facebook problems anyway in here, and we had them all week, so we finally got them resolved uh, today for this show tonight, so that's cool. I have a special guest that's going to be joining us here shortly. Uh, she's on the phone uh, via Minnesota, and that's Libby. So I know a lot of you seen her videos uh, that she did on Facebook. It was pretty cool. So uh, anyway, I want to thank everybody for joining us uh, tonight, and uh, I'll bring you on right now. Libby, are you still there? I'm still here. All right. Well, thank you for holding with me for a week. Libby's been on hold for a week up in Minnesota. Wait, no, not really. She went to work and stuff and played with the ponies. Uh, but, yeah, you were laughing at me last night. Not at me, but last week. But, you know, I'm like, I'm sweating in here. I don't think this is going to work. And then Facebook wouldn't work anyway. So it turned out okay. So Yeah, it's actually Oklahoma weather up here right now, and I'm oh. a little disappointed. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Well, and you guys are kind of in a drought, right? We're majorly yeah, in a drought. Yeah, we... We finally got half an inch of rain last week for the first time in over a month. So. Right. I know I bought probably a couple weeks ago or a month ago, my brother, he lives in central Minnesota, and he told me that uh, it hadn't rained really since Mother's Day, which is May, yep. you know, like the first yep. week. And usually we're brown this time of year because we have 50, 60 days of 90 to 100 degree heat. And then we stop raining in the spring, and we don't get rain again to maybe September. Well, it's rained a lot in july the most ever here so it's green like minnesota and then you guys are brown so it's kind of, i'm enjoying moving to oklahoma this year you know for sure <laughs> i've been here since 09. Uh, we've had some bad summers though but uh, yeah this time uh, the rain just keeps coming almost too much so we've been having flooding i actually sold two cars this last week because their cars were totaled because they were either hailed or rain you know flooded so yeah. you don't think of Oklahoma yep. for that, but especially in July. So Tracy's here. That's all right. I'm watching. That's a Facebook user. I can't tell who you are, but thank you for watching. So we got some people tuned in already. So don't get nervous, Ab or Libby. We only have two people watching. So, <laughs> so what's so? Just introduce yourself a little bit. I'm rocking here. Introduce yourself. Tell the POA people who you are. Um. All right. Um. I'm. Liberty Rose, that's actually my middle name. Um, POA probably, people probably know me as Liberty Onsager. Okay. Um, I showed POAs from like 2010 to 2013 on two ponies. Uh, She's No Kid, which is a kiddo tough daughter, which is how we got connected to you. Right. And then, and then um, I also showed Duck Rhythm and Blues, and he is the pony that got me to go to the Congress the one year I went, and he's really the pony that got me kick-started in a really showing horses seriously so okay that's cool that's cool so <laughs> and you guys your mom's program she still likes the kiddo tough stuff and especially the silver kid and then she likes the dutch stuff too so yeah, yeah. yep yep and so my mom is melissa andring i know people can get a little confused by that right but, well yeah. she remarried right and she married tim yep. andring so she's melissa yep. andring now and uh i believe your dad uh you know his last name I think we either wrestled each other in junior high or high school or played football against each other or something so Probably, way, but yeah because yep, yep. I think he was from St. Michael Albertville and I was from Kimball so yep, yeah yep. That, that's a small world boy and we're about the same age so yeah it's kind of kind of a weird world but so I remember when your mom got into POAs and she contacted me somehow social media was still around even back then believe it or not and uh, <laughs> I sent you guys some magazines you would have been just a kid then and because she said yeah. that she had a daughter that really liked the history and that was you i think and uh and then of course your sister <laughs> shows a show now and uh, i have that picture up on the screen your sister's in the pink crocs and that's you next to her right yeah the shorter Sporting one the, the shorter <laughs> one yeah i wasn't gonna say that but uh i did it <laughs> off the air so so even though we've known of each other for over 10 years or so it was kind of funny you know halter night was a marathon and then i left right after halter night after the mclaren i had to stay there to help uh present the stuff you know and make sure everything went off fine because that's in my region and everything and that is a big deal the mclaren futurity uh prestigious futurity which it should be and uh, but i brought the trophy down there and you were hanging out by the gate it was probably two in the morning and uh uh, you started looking at that trophy because it is cool you know the traveling trophy and uh, you said 
uh, Chief Joseph S., my mom's, and I don't know who you are at this point, you know, and you go, uh, my mom's got a broodmare with Chief Joseph S. in the pedigree, however you said it, you know, and, and I said, who's your mom? And you go, Melissa Andrew, and I started laughing right away, didn't I? And then I said, are you Sophie? You know, and I got the wrong sister, but, and you really beamed, and, and I said, well, I got to have this, uh, don't take it the wrong way, but this girl on a podcast, so. I know you're not a girl anymore. You've aged out quite a while ago. Your sister's aged out now, right? This is her last year? Yep, and that's the reason I actually went down this year, took work off, was to see her graduation. So, bittersweet right. moment. Bittersweet moment, yeah, but at least, you know. So, you got to show at a Congress way back when, and now your sister showed. She showed at a few, right? But she got to ride in her last one, so, so that yep, was cool. Yep. I wish I could have been there for graduation, but it's so hard. Even when I was raising POAs and I had kids right you know families would buy them and stuff it's just hard to be there for a week sometimes when you're you know doing other things and and raising them and even now you know it's hard for me to be there a week we got quite a few people watching now so that's cool so um so one of the reasons why i had you on here too this was kind of a history making show and you kind of chronicled it and uh, you were doing these videos every day i think every day you did a video right and put it on yep, Facebook. Even the days that were before the show. So. Even the days before the show. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. Well, and uh, yeah, I know a lot of people enjoyed those. I sure did. You know, and and it's nice to have that big screen up and then having the the camera people there. But your videos were fun and spunky. You know, and it got to really. I mean, that stuff we need to use for like advertising and get people interested in the breed. You know, those yeah. little those little videos. What did you call them? Chronicles, or then you changed the name? I think, but. Chronicles, Daily just, Chronicles, yeah, day to day, you know, behind the scenes stuff videos. Right. Um, Are you yeah. interested in doing that kind of thing? Like, <laughs> it's funny you say that because okay, so we were doing the you know, eleven hour drive down there, and my mom and I were the first shift at two in the morning, <laughs> driving down to Tulsa, and she turned to me and she goes, you know, those videos that Appaloosa's been doing at for their world show the last couple years, and I was like, yeah. She's like, you should make that because I actually have a degree in digital media production. Oh, wow. So she's like, you should actually use your degree because I'm not using it at my job right now. So. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> nice to use your degree, yeah. So, so yeah, that's kind of the, the kickstart of it. And then, you know, the first couple days we were there and I was going around grabbing videos. I think people were giving me kind of side eyes, but by the end, I think people were getting kind of used to it. Right. They were, you were a little celebrity, a little videographer there. They're like, I want to be in the Liberty Rose Chronicles. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, yep. I know, it was, it was sure cool and it, it caught a lot of different things, you know, cause there is a, and even when you're there, you can miss things, you know what I mean? People yep. are so, uh, involved with their kids or their ponies even like the breeders and the people that show halter on halter day you really get involved then you might leave well then when you can go home and you start watching these videos and you go oh that horse was there or you see certain things and just makes you smile so well, well and, you know the last couple of years i you know was a little disappointed i couldn't go because of work and other things so i wanted to create videos that you know people like me from home could see too right Oh, even as an adult, and I know some other people like Tracy can uh, attest to this one. I don't get to go to the Congress even now. Like a couple times I've chose not to because of my job and stuff since I'm not involved in much, you know. Now I'm starting to be again, but there for a while. But like when I had POAs, if I couldn't go to the Congress, you didn't want to be around me that week. You know, <laughs> if I missed the Congress, I was at home. And I, I remember one time I was working a part-time job, a full-time job. I was already in Oklahoma and then a part-time job on the weekends uh, looking after an airport. And there wasn't that much to do, so sometimes you played on the computer. Well, the day of Halter, I was at that job, and I just watched Halter all day on the video. It was like 2012, I think. And you know, yeah, I've only missed a couple since then, but it wasn't in Tulsa yet then. So it's handy yeah, for me being my, in Tulsa, you know, because it's close. Yeah, but. I think some of my supervisors were kind of happy I just took the time off this year because I, I'm pretty sure I was glued to it the last couple of years my family went. So. <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah, you're watching. You got to make sure you have the sound down. I got to watch that here sometimes, even on other horse events like the Terry Bradshaw sale when they had that, the corridor sale and stuff. Yep, I had yep. it, and every once in a while, the auctioneer would get excited and somebody would go, What is that sound? One of my coworkers, I'm like, Oops. You know, I reached 
over and just turn it down a little bit, but the video is still there. So, and every once in a while, like a Palomino or something would catch mine, I'd turn the sound up and then I'd get called away and I'd forget my phone. And then somebody would bust me. They're like, you know, your phone's been playing an auction for two hours. I'm like, it's not hurting. What's it hurting? It's not hurting you. So, yeah, same way with the POA stuff. So the Congress is still as important as it ever was. You know, the name was changed. So when you showed it in, uh, when did you show, 2012 at it? So I showed in 2012, and that was actually the first year they changed it from the international show to the POAC National Congress. And okay. I just remember walking around the grounds or asking people before the show, and we didn't know what to call it. You know, was it nationals? Was it Congress? And I think now we've pretty much settled on the Congress. But right. It was kind of interesting, you know, like that was the last time I went. And so nobody knew what to call it at that point. Right. I was upset when they changed it because I was kind of out of POAs then. And I w- I'd been off the board for probably four or five years when that happened. And I thought, well, there's more history, you know. But I understand life is all about changes and we change every day, you know. So we got to keep up with the times but i still didn't think the name needed to be changed you know from the international it's been going since 1959 you know but yep. i understand they're trying to make it but then they now they still call it the national congress so yeah and then my yep. records i keep it's about a mile long the words i gotta put because i gotta put international show slash national congress you know or show or whatever yep. it's kind of funny but uh <laughs> i'm over it now that they changed it so you know there's there's been a lot of changes it's so that yeah, that was the first year. That's a trivia question for everybody, anybody that wants to play who wants to be a POA, or that may pop up as a, a trivia question. So have you talked to your mom, Melissa, into being on the trivia show yet? I, she actually told me I should be on it, Ken. <laughs> well, you can be on there. I'll make it modern. I'll make it, uh, you know, like this century, you know, I'll make it a modern <laughs> trivia show. It doesn't have to be history. Not all trivia is history. So if you like ever watch Jeopardy. 2005 Jeopardy. to now, I would be really good at it. Yeah, 2005 <laughs> from now. Well, if you're on here, the first question will be, which year did the international show change its name? Or was the name changed? You'll be like, man, I know this one. So, yeah, I was there. Lived it. <laughs> yeah. And then I'll say, uh, uh, what color was Sophie's Crocs at the national show when she had it's the pillow? It's always pink. Yeah, pink. So... <laughs> Yeah, see, those are questions only you guys would get, you know. So. Yeah, see, I'd win. <laughs> right. So I like putting everybody on the spot, even though I talked to you for a few minutes last week and a few minutes uh, tonight before the show. I'm not going to put you on the spot uh, too much. But what was your, besides your personal stuff with your sister, of course, and your mom showing, what was some of your favorite highlights of the show? Well, you know, and it just holds kind of a special spot to my heart, too, you know, even though it was at 2.30 in the, in the morning, um, the McLaren has always just kind of been something that whenever anybody watches that class and watches or hears the meaning behind it, they go, I want to enter that class and I want to win that class. And so right. that was something that, like, was super special. Not just, like, sentimental because my sister showed in it this year, but, like, you know, like 